What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today I want to try to help out the EU players that still can't get into the beta. It's currently 2.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time where I live, uh, which is a half an hour away from being 36 hours since the beta launched. I feel really bad for the EU players that uh, haven't got to play. It seems like it's more of a PlayStation Store issue than a Pearl Abyss and Black Desert issue. It doesn't make up for it, but I don't think it's their fault. We haven't had anything. There's another game beta that I, I can't find it now, but someone commented about another beta that um, also was having this issue. Uh, it, it seems to stem from the fact that they released a beta initially, and then they decided that they wanted to make adjustments to it, and they re-released a new beta. So if you downloaded it the first one, they didn't release an update for it, and they can't release the update for it now. And the it just stems from that one not being a valid version, but when you delete it, it re-downloads that version instead of the correct version. Uh, that's what the main issue stems from. A very, 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 very few amount of people have got it to work where they deleted it and re-downloaded it. You can try that, but I'm sure most of you have already tried that. So what I'm going to try to do today is give you guys, I compiled a list of the different tips that people are trying to give out to, in order to um, get you into the beta. Some of these are easy, some of them are more difficult, and some of them will diminish your experience, but it's still... It's still something. It still allows you to play it and, and have somewhat of an experience. So let's get into this. I won't waste any more of your guys' time with me blabbing on. So the first one is they suggest an alternate account, but they don't really suggest it correctly. You need to delete the beta first because if you just get on an alternate account, you can't re-download the beta. The issue is with the beta download. It's not with your account. It's with the beta download. So you need to delete the account, the beta on your main account before you get on the alternate account. You get on the alternate account and you download it. I would suggest trying to play first on the alternate account. Just make sure it works and all of that different stuff. Then if it's all good to go, sign out of your main account, sign out while in the game, just to make sure, sign out while in the game, and then at the home screen before, like when it says press start to, to enter the game, sign out of your account and sign into the, the your main account and try it from there. That will give it a chance to, um, it's it, the game has already started up, it's past where it would tell you to update, and hopefully your main account would work from there. This seems to be kind of hit or miss if it works for people, but I do say make sure and have it uninstalled before you download it on the alternate account. Another option is to set the alternate account as your prime, just set any alternate account as your primary home Xbox or Xbox PlayStation and um, uninstall, the, uninstall it before, set a new account as your primary uh, on, on PlayStation. Now, keep in mind before you do this, you can only change your primary Con or primary account on a console once every six months so you will need to be okay with your main account not being um the main account on your console for six months uh, but then download it with the the secondary account and it should give you the the fic the the working version of it and then you can just start it with your uh alternate or your main account that's now an alternate on the console uh, another option is to, and this one is is one that uh, takes a little bit more work, is to contact PlayStation support and have them refund the beta. It's a free refund. I mean, it's a free game, but they can refund it and take it off of your downloads. What that would do is it would delete the, the memory that you downloaded the non-working beta, and then it will let you download the working beta. You'll just go back in and download it exactly how we all downloaded it, and uh, it should work. It looks like it's worked for almost everybody that's got it to work. Now, I, from what I've seen, the European PlayStation support is a little bit dodgy, but it should work. The next option is to make a North American um, PlayStation account. Now, obviously, you'll have to play on North American servers, which I understand diminishes the fun a little bit. It's going to it's gonna weaken your experience. It's going to cause a little bit of lag, but it'll allow you to play. And isn't that what we're, <laughs> isn't that what we're hoping for is just that you get to play. Um, and so what you'll have to do is you'll have to find, just find any North American address. Type anything into Google, look up 
a famous place in America it has an address, just use that and make the North American account. When you do that, it should allow you to download the North American client. Client Now make sure you delete the European client off of your console before you make the North American and download it again. Um, and it should download the North American client for you and allow you to at least play the game. I know it's not going to be the same. It's going to be on North American servers, but it's 20, it's 2019. I mean, it's, it's not as bad as it used to be to play on servers across the ocean, but, uh, I mean, it will at least let you play. Um, there's some other more difficult fixes that don't seem to work. Um, I'm not going to mention them. If those four don't work for you, it's kind of just time to, it might be just time to give up on the beta because they haven't mentioned anything, um, they haven't mentioned anything about fixing this anytime soon. I mean, it, it, they pretty much... Black Desert blames PlayStation, which I think they're accurate in doing. They're, it, may, it may make sense as PlayStation. PlayStation really hasn't denied it. Their customer support really hasn't said, you know, yeah, it's definitely them, not us. So I'm pretty sure it's them and they don't know how to fix it. So they're just like, yeah, we're not going to fix it. And so we're in that weird stage. But yeah, I hope this helps someone out that wants to get this to work on PlayStation. I really am I'm hoping that you guys can get in. Um, I love Black Desert, as you can see by all the stuff on my channel. And I really hope you guys can get in. It's a fun game. It's not for everybody. And so that's why I really encourage anybody who uh, is kind of on the fence with the game to give the beta a try because you'll get a feel for the game. You won't get a feel for the end game grindiness, which is kind of the big thing that people don't like, but it'll give you a feel for the game. I'll stop blabbing on though. Uh, let me know if this helped anyone and it worked. Um, I have some people asking me questions on different social media sites, like on YouTube and on, on Twitter. Those are my two that I use the most. Um, and so hopefully someone can get into the beta from this and uh, I will catch you guys all later. Peace.